Hello everyone, welcome. This is Corn Dog Crafting here. I am going to attempt to make a a ring inlay with um, epoxy resin, which is blue, and it's got like a metallic colour on it. This is a UV resin. So I've only mixed a little bit because you don't need a lot. And I've got my UV torch on standby. And my little toothpick which we're going to use to apply inside the ring. Now I learnt this by watching a YouTuber called Daniel Cooper. People might have heard of him. He's a very good resin artist. So what I'm doing here is I'm applying the, the resin to the ring inlay with the toothpick and also I've also scratched the inside of the ring with a Dremel. Now this resin has been sitting for a little bit as well just to to thicken up a little bit so it doesn't run too quick off the stick. I did do a live a live version of this about four hours ago and it was a pink one. It went pretty well. So I thought I'd make a video and edit it instead. He says. Right. I'm going to get in the... Just adjust my... Magnifying glass because... My eyesight ain't as what it used to be. I've got um, bad vision. Let's just see if I can drag this along the edge. Oops, I think I just went over the, the lip. Yeah, I did. It'll come off. a bit more now I am self-taught well except for this version of the ring I am um, got inspired by Daniel I've always wanted to do resin art. Right, if I remember rightly, I've got to just keep topping it up. I'll wait for that to come round. It's quite a nice blue actually. It's more of a I think it's a metallic like a metallic blue. Oops, as you can see I'm not very good at it should spread out again. Let me 
needs filling in anyway. Bit by bit. Little by little. Put some more along there. Come on, then. get round here, you little bugger. Just there. Slowly get in there. I quite like the look of this. It's looking good. little bit more about there I think I've got a little bubble there wipe me cloth off excuse the noise in the background that's my air con not my air con it's my uh, extractor I think there's a one there. There is definitely bubbles there. Yeah. You are supposed to be wearing gloves, and yes, I do apologise for not wearing any. But I will be using an alcohol cleaner on my hands when I'm done. That's actually looking rather flush now at the top and the bottom. Gonna keep it, I don't think it's thinned out anywhere. Now the only reason why I scratch the inside of it, because last time I did one I didn't scratch it. And the the resin came off. It didn't have nothing to grip hold of. So I've tried scratching it first. I cleaned it with alcohol and then it just didn't um, grip, grip to it. You see, it's quite a nice bright blue. Yeah, really good. Okay, so that, um, what I'm going to do now is because it's a UV resin, I'm going to try and I'll turn my light off. Because it looks okay, I'm going to start to cure it. It's not a very good torch, but I need a new one. It does the job for now. And then I'll just put it in my... Uh, when it's cured enough, I'll put it in my UV machine, which I built myself. It's just a box with a dark UV light and tinfoil on the inside. You'll have to bear with me as well. I've not been doing these sorts of things for long. Um, 
<laughs> I'm normally on my gaming channel, which is Cornish Gamer. If you do want to see some good resin art then well I won't call my resin art at the minute very good but half decent stay tuned to the channel it'd be great could do with the support we do a lot of 3d printing as well and cosplay masks which I'm going to start doing properly Appreciate if anybody could help me to get to, well, if I could build a little community as well. Love to get to 50 subs, that'd be great. Maybe I'll give a ring away. It's always nice to receive something free. Sure how that's doing. I don't think it's quite. No. Not quite set yet. Not even sure if that's bright enough. Portland. Don't try this at home. Put a bit more blue on that. Did a bit of a mistake there then. Come on you bugger, come round again. I do sell these uh, rings on on eBay as well. Um, when you just started putting them on, I put my eBay link in the bottom for everybody if anyone's interested. need this to cure a bit more because the last one I did I took it off the machine and I got a massive drip on the bottom because I thought it was okay to move
All right, what I'll do is I'll let that keep turning. Before I end the video, I'll show you the one I did earlier. So you can see the finished product. It's not blue, it's a violet color. So that's the one I did earlier. That's a size seven. Real nice and glittery. Can you still see that okay? I've not got a brilliant camera. Yeah, it's focusing a bit more. But yeah, that's that's pretty smooth. Really nice. So, I shall end my video there, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, possibly you can give me hints and tips, maybe, if someone's more experienced than me out there. If not, and you've learned a little bit, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Or follow, whatever it is these days. And I'll catch you all on the next video. Thank you very much, and... Have a good day or night.